PSS Syncal offers a comprehensive high-end power system analysis software solution for all of your power system planning needs. PSS Syncal provides a full unbalanced power system model for high, medium, and low voltage grids and supports you in the design, modeling, and analysis of electrical power systems. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an unbalanced distribution network such as an IEEE 34 node test feeder using PSS Syncal. IEEE 34 node test feeder information can be obtained from the IEEE Power Engineering Society website. This feeder has all of the information we need. Line data, transformer data, different types of loads, capacitor, regulator data, and the impedance of the line. We'll start by creating a new file. Go to File, New, Electrical. Click Next. Select Workspace. Select Schematic. Click Next. Name the study file. And then click Finish. To set up the study parameters, click Calculate, Settings, Basic Data, and then choose a frequency. Next, click Load Flow. Set up the settings as needed, and then click OK. Now create a network level that will identify the study voltage level or levels. Click on Network Level, Basic Data. Enter 24.9 kV as the voltage level, and 60 Hz for the frequency. You can also enter another voltage level by clicking here and providing the proper information. Here you also have the opportunity to switch overhead line temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Click OK when voltage level setup is complete. To create the IEEE 34 node test feeder, we will create the network from starting node 800 all the way up to node 840. We begin by creating a bus bar. Click on the toolbox and select the bus bar symbol. Now add that bus bar to your network. Enter a name, select a voltage level, and then click OK. Next, create a source model swing. Select infeeder swing keeping in mind that the swing bus for load flow fixes the voltage in both amount and angle. Enter other parameter information such as short circuit power, resistance reactance, the zero phase sequence information, and other necessary information. And then click OK. Now create a line. An example is provided from node 800 to 802, Length 2,580 feet and configuration 300. Line configuration has Z and B in a matrix format. This information is needed to create a line model in PSS Syncal. To create a line from the toolbox, select Line and click OK. Choose a node name. Select the correct voltage level and click OK. Now we need to enter the line parameter information. We can see for node 800 to 802 the length is 2,580 feet. Line impedance information can be entered by selecting the coupling data option. Enter a name, description, and project name. Next, click on coupling data icon. A new window will open. Click the Add Sys button one time. Then click the Add Cond icon three times. Provide the phase and voltage information. Enter 24.9 as the voltage level of the system for each phase. Please note that RST is the phase naming that can also be L1, L2, L3. Next, enter the impedances provided by IEEE and then select the unit ohm per mile for serial data. Now provide the shunt data information in PSS Syncal. Click on Shunt Data. Select this option for the shunt data unit 
and then provide IEEE shunt data. Please note, SynCal expects the values of the shunt capacitances as partial capacitances, so conversion may be needed. Enter the shunt data into the table and then click OK. Now we can see another line is connected from node 802 to 806 with a length of 1730 feet and the same configuration, 300. We can create the similar network with a simple copy and paste. Then connect the network, provide the node name, provide the length, and click OK. Now we have created another line from 802 to 806. Repeat this process to create all other lines. Next, we must create a load model. In this example, we will model a distributed load at the middle of two nodes, which is half the length of the line. Start by splitting the line in half. Click on the line and check the present length. Now right-click, choose Insert Net Point, select New Length in Percent, 50%, and then provide the new node name. We'll use Distributed Load 802 to 806. Click OK and double-check your changes. Select Node Element in the toolbox and click the Load Symbol icon. Connect the load in the node Distributed Load 802 to 806. Select Phase 2. Under Load Flow Type, choose P and Q constant. Choose Load Input Information, provide Active Power, Reactive Power, and then click OK. Next, select Phase 3. Provide the same information, and then click OK. Now we can see a distributed load connected to Phase 2 and Phase 3. Use this method to provide distributed load information into PSS SynCal for the rest of the network. As we move forward, be sure to run the load flow, checking for errors and successful completion. We also need to create a regulator model, connecting it from node 814 to 850. Select Toolbox, Two Winding Transformer. Click node 814 and connect to node 850. Click OK. In the node 850 information, click Format and choose Voltage Regulator. After connecting the voltage regulator, Click the checkbox and provide the needed information. When you're finished, click OK. To create a transformer model, begin by selecting Two Winding Transformer in the toolbox. Then connect node 832 with 888 and click OK. Select the transformer, provide all the necessary information, and click OK. Finally, select node 888 Choose the proper voltage level and click OK. As always, be sure to run the load flow and check the message window to be sure the load flow completed successfully. Next, let's model a spot load at node 890. To connect a spot load, select Load, connect it to 890. It's a three-phase load, so select L123. Name it SpotLoad890. Add all needed information and then click OK. Please note that if the load is balanced, you can also add the values in total rather than providing in each phase. Now we need to connect the capacitor on node 844. Click on the toolbox, select Shunt Capacitor, and then connect it. Next, select Phase L1, select another capacitor, Phase L2, and then select a third capacitor, Phase L3.
Continue by providing capacitor information for each phase, selecting the voltage level, and entering any other needed information. To check that our modeling is correct, run the load flow, checking the message window below. Calculation completed successfully means the model was created successfully without any error. We can also validate our SynCal result with the IEEE result by checking a node, for example, node 800. We can see the results are indeed comparable. Load flow results can be seen in detail by selecting tabular view. Choose node results, branch results, or any other option to see the results you need. The annotation and filter option allow you to see the specific data result in your SynCal model. For example, a voltage profile shows how the voltage behaves from the source to the end of the feeder. Similarly, we can see the voltage graphically by using isoplot. Select visualization type. Visualization settings. And then advanced settings. Now select Use Gradient, and then click OK. Define the value range, the color range, click Apply, and then click OK. If you're interested in learning more about the power of PSS SynCal, feel free to explore our website or contact us directly.